The progressive neurodegenerative disease, ALS, affects as many as 30,000 Americans. There is no known cure despite efforts to better understand it and treat it. 2822, Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Killer in studio to explain. Mark? Nick and Candace, ALS is a puzzling disease for certain, with so much needing to be learned about it. One way is through groundbreaking research that's getting help from a Scranton man who's been living with ALS for a decade. A motorized customized wheelchair helps get Paul Miller to something he's been doing routinely since 2021. Once a week, he pulls up to his computer and takes part in a project gauging his ability to speak. Please say, pet. With the use of artificial intelligence, each 10 minute session tracks and records Miller's speech. It needs a lot for me to be able to participate in something I'm passionate about. The nonprofit Everything ALS is responsible for the study. We can actually see the changes that happen in the progression of the disease, and we can use these mechanisms in the trials so that we can actually say these are the algorithms that can detect the progression of the disease. The organization's goal is to use that data to support efforts ranging from providing ALS care to finding a potential cure. We're already finding, um, you know, changes in the speech as one of the indicators of progression. And um, my wish is that this gets accepted by FDA as a secondary biomarker that could be used in the clinical trials. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Navarre says Miller brings particular value to the study. He's one of only 10% of patients who battled ALS for at least 10 years. Anybody who is actually in the outlier who are living longer need to be studied, need to be understood. Miller's wife is encouraged by the organization and its speech research. It's great. It's a great resource. It's a great thing. Any, you know, anything that they can do for ALS is amazing. And maybe down the road it will help somebody with the ALS. Miller says while he doesn't expect a cure for ALS anytime soon, he hopes the research helps detect the disease sooner. He says it took 16 months for doctors to diagnose him. Head to pahomepage.com to learn more about everything ALS research. Candace, Nick, 